Hi you guys, this is Miss Jess from the Monroe Street Art Center. Um, today I've got a video for you and showing you how to make your own watercolor paint. Um, if you don't paint very often or maybe you are just starting to get back into painting, uh, paint can kind of cost a lot of money depending on where you order it from and what brand you're getting. Um, a few colors can add up really fast. Um, so if you're kind of hesitating if you wanna buy paint or not, this could kind of be a way to sort of ease you back into it without having to spend a lot of money. Um, we're also going to just be using some things from your pantry today. Um, usually people will sort of have these things on hand. If you don't have them on hand, you can pretty much get them anywhere for pretty affordable. Um, so we're going to use cornstarch and white vinegar today. Um, and then food coloring, I'm just going to make the primary colors. So I've got yellow, red, and blue. Um, and then I've got my paintbrush with a little bit of water here. And I also have just a stirring utensil. I'm using like a tiny pickle fork, but you can use whatever you want to to stir. Okay. And then the last thing I have is a palette. I'm just using palette paper today. This is kind of like the lazy artist way of um, using a paint palette. And it's just a piece of paper, almost like wax paper. So even if you have wax paper at home, you could use this as a palette today as well. Um, now, I've already actually mixed up some yellow. Something that you should know about this paint is um, it does separate naturally on its own. So every once in a while, you're gonna wanna give it a stir again. Um, I'm creating my colors today in little tiny mason jars um, so that I can actually save them and use them later this week since it makes kind of a decent amount of paint. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. Uh, the next color that I'm going to make is red. So here's my jar, right? I got my little teeny tiny um, red food coloring. Um, the ratio here is two parts of cornstarch to three parts vinegar. So what I'm going to do is actually just use a tablespoon measurement, one tablespoon. Uh, I'm going to do two tablespoons of cornstarch. So I got my box of cornstarch here. I'm leveling it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as close as you can get it. There's one. Okay, two. Goes right in my jar. And then I need three parts of vinegar. So I'm going to do three tablespoons of vinegar since I did two tablespoons of cornstarch. Uh, you might want to do this on a surface that can get messy, just in case accidents happen. All right, so I've got my paper towel underneath here. Cool beans. So I got my cornstarch and my vinegar. Now I can add my food coloring. Um, I was pretty generous when I made this yellow color. So I'm going to just kind of, maybe I'll ease my way in at first. I'm going to do just a couple drops here. Maybe six. That was maybe six or seven drops. Put my lid on. Um, here's where I'm going to use my stirring utensil instead of my paintbrush, so just so I don't sort of hurt the bristles on my paintbrush. And the cornstarch at first is going to be a little weird to stir up. It's a little thick, kind of chunky. Um, you sort of need to scrape the bottom of your jar too to make sure that you get it all, all off the bottom. Okay, so this is pretty color. Mm, this is giving me pink pastel vibes. Um, I'm going more for a red color, so I think I'm going to add just a few more drops here. Okay, that was maybe like eight more drops. <laughs> and then I'm going to stir it up again. Oh yeah, much more red. Cool, so you guys can kind of experiment with this, right? There's really, um, however many drops, whatever color you're really going for, but I'm, I'm digging this color now. I'm going to use my water and just rinse it off before I go ahead and make my next color. I've got my yellow, got my red, I just need blue now. My next mason jar. So again, two parts cornstarch, <clears throat> three parts vinegar. One and two. Uh, don't overdo it on the cornstarch. If you add a little bit too much and it's a little bit too chalky, um, when you use this paint and let it dry, it'll sort of kind of almost like flake off if you use a little bit too much cornstarch. So you edge on the side of maybe more vinegar than cornstarch if you need to. Two and three. Okay. And now I was ready for the blue. This will be pretty. Ooh. 
and I'll stir it up. I guess I got some powder on the sides. So maybe try and scrape it off if you can. All right, but I love this color too. This is awesome. Okay. Got a few cornstarch chunks. I'm just trying to work out here. I think I'm gonna use my paintbrush here to just make sure everything is off the bottom of my jar. Nothing is really sticking to the sides down there. Clean off all the cornstarch powder, powder from the sides. I think I'm ready to go. Awesome, so I've got blue, red, and yellow paint. <clears throat> now, I've got a drawing actually that I already started. I'm super happy that April is right around the corner. I'm so done with winter. So I just made this kind of thinking ahead to springtime. Um, this is a fun way to use your paints. I'm just using a piece of my sketchbook paper. You guys can use any kind of paper you have at home. Um, but this would be something that I would go ahead and maybe paint in now that I've got a few different colors of paints. Um, with the primary colors, you guys can make all the colors of the rainbow. You probably know that. Um, but just out of curiosity, I kind of want to see how these colors combine. So I'm going to use my paintbrush. And on my palette or your palette paper, or you could use a paper plate or whatever you've got sitting around, um, I'm going to see if I can make a purple color. So taking my paintbrush and I'm just gonna stir up my red a little bit and drop some of this red color on my palette. Okay, rock and roll. Give my brush a good rinse in the water. And then stir up my blue. I find that it's kind of a good idea with this paint to kind of stir it up almost every time you use it to make sure that the cornstarch isn't settling. Now I've got blue on this side few drops. I'm going to rinse my brush off and then I'm going to combine these two colors. I think you guys can see it there. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That's a lovely lavender purple. And then of course I could add it to my painting. Okay. Anyways, I'll make a time-lapse video of this painting so that you guys can see the final product, but um, go ahead and get creative with this. If you guys have more colors of food coloring, you could make all of the colors so that you don't have to mix your own, um, but I think half of the fun is sort of mixing them up yourself. Um, so please share with me if you guys end up making your own paints and painting with them. I would love to see how it turns out. Bye.